There you go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> My brother. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm good, son. I'm good, son of the soil. <laughs> good, good. Uh, so we decided to flip the camera or the script, flip the script. <laughs> on you today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I'm I'm personally um, interested in asking you some questions and and the, you know might be people out there that that might want to hear what you have to say as well yeah. about. Uh, the art center um, and we know that you are a musician as well so we'll speak a bit about your music as well um, so we'll get straight to the questions um, so Bukamuso Art Center um, seeks to give opportunities to young people in your community uh, what are some of the opportunities that were afforded to you growing up? You obviously grew up in South Africa. What are some of the opportunities that were afforded to you um, growing yeah. up and, and how have those shaped your, you know, your life and, yeah. and, and, and the person that you, you are right now and the person that you aspire to be? Mm -hmm. um, Mfana, thank you. This is, this is quite remarkable. I have, uh, I have never thought, um, while we were doing this, at some point, uh, someone would look at me and change this towards me. And that's mm -hmm. the most important thing that I like about you. I like the way you think. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I was, I was raised by women. Apart from mm -hmm. my mother and my, and my dad, apart, apart from my mother taking over the household after my dad uh, passed, yeah. uh, my mother played a big role. But I was raised by women, and these women have played a biggest role in my life, from from primary school to high school. High school, I met a woman called Osma um, Lirole um, Gladi. She's probably now, and that woman shaped and changed a lot of things about me. She she understood talent, and when she saw it, and she nourished the talent. That woman changed my life. And then I proceeded to meet another woman called Emma Renzi. Emma Renzi was my teacher at, uh, at Vets University. She was my voice teacher. And I was raised by another woman called uh, Margaret Labuskachny, who is was who gave me the first job as a student uh, at Vets. So I have, was raised by, by women, and these women have played a big role. And um, not to say there were not men involved, they were, but I just think the nourishing part of talent came from them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so they gave me a chance. And uh, that's what I am trying to aspire to be, giving people a chance and giving people um, opportunities that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. When we were growing up, we, we rehearsed in garage and we rehearsed yeah. outside. I didn't mm -hmm. have instruments. And I had mm -hmm. wished that one day I will, I will get, I'll grab an instrument and I'll be very good at an instrument because I thought yeah. it is very important that not to rely on my voice alone as a singer. A lot of people at home can sing, but not a lot of mm -hmm. yeah, people play instruments. And it's very important that they can communicate with their voices and their instruments as well, because that gives you a better capacity to communicate as an artist and it grows mm -hmm. you as a songwriter, not to rely mm -hmm. only on your ear, but also translate that to an instrument. So I think oh, wow. that has shaped and changed the way I think about, about, about young people or, or people I meet. I want to give them mm -hmm. a chance. The culture mm -hmm. of giving, my dad, my dad was a giver. My dad sacrificed um, uh, his whole family, which I was very angry about when I was growing up. Like my yeah. dad was always giving people things, he always, yeah. always <laughs> taking his money. We will never build a house yeah. if this church is the only thing that's taking our time. You know what I mean? I just felt like he was more of a giver, you know? So yeah. that yeah. as well shaped the way I think about things now and how I think mm -hmm. of my community, Garcia, yeah. you know? And so it yeah. was 10 years in the making every year, because oh, I, used to wow. work in, I used to work in the Lion King. And so every mm -hmm. day I'll go home for a visit. And every time yeah. I go home, there, were, there was no space that I could go and just chill. 
just to have a coffee mm-hmm. or have a beer, chill with artists. There was never a place mm-hmm. like that. It was always just mm-hmm. me at being at home and just walking the streets. Right? There was never an mm-hmm. art space. So I, I had that dream. I thought one day we'll open up a an art space where just a community of artists, a hub yeah. where artists meet. So that has been yeah. my dream. And so that's that's what the center is ultimately will be. I'm not sure whether yeah. we are there yet. We are we are far from there yet. But we'll be yeah, there. yeah, yeah. It's always it's always a, a work in progress. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Um, now, also, um, wanted to ask you, um, like, where do you see Bukamoso in, say, the next five, ten years? Uh, what's the goal? The center, I'll tell you what, someone very important to me said to me, are you trying to change Gassiarona? Are you trying to change mocking and turn it into a, or the art space? Are you trying to change it and make it uh, the new Maboning? Mm-hmm. What I, I'll tell you what, what inspired me was my travels. Mm-hmm. And in my travels, I have seen small spaces small mm-hmm. spaces that mm-hmm. captured my eyes and my heart. Mm-hmm. Uh, Utolore, there's a little space there, there's a little band they're playing and there's just more than, less than 50 people in this space with amazing, amazing um, artworks, yeah. poets, musicians, quirky little places. And yeah. I, said, I would love Kasi if we were in a place like this. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm hoping that we will achieve that one day. Mm-hmm. I have dreams. There's a there's a place yeah. in, in, in London called Shoreditch. I used to go to Shoreditch a lot. And Shoreditch yeah. was just the hub of arts. Shoreditch is amazing. It's amazing. And and then yeah. certain places were built with uh containers. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've been to village underground in New York and in London yeah. as well. Village on the yeah. ground sort of changed everything about me. And I've got to Village on the ground as well. How could people use simple materials to create yeah. such a, a beautiful spaces? There's another mm. place that inter, um, that I love in, in, in Portugal. It's called uh, Village on the ground, Lisboa. A beautiful place. Why? Mm. It's just outside using containers. It's just, it's the look. It's what it's yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in my head. I see it and I yeah. see it in that small town called Malki, right? So mm-hmm. in the next, mm-hmm. look, we are, we, 2020, 20 is gone. Yeah, of course. Uh, we celebrate, we celebrated the third year of existence of Bukamo, so last year, it was amazing. We had, ho- I had hope that we will have uh, Another one this year, it was an exhibition, a marketing exhibition. We had to cancel because of the COVID-19. So yep. next year we're celebrating five years. I cannot even believe that yeah. we are up to five years. So you yeah. asking me about the next five years, I see, I see a space, this is what I see. I see a space where um, fashion designers, um, graphic designers, actors, singers, dancers, yeah. converging in one space, paying a small rent for a space they are renting at the center, at the back, in the front. I see the center inside as an empty shell, white. It is white now, at least I painted it again and again and again, just to get it brighter. Um, yeah. I see it as a, a venue where, I'll give you an example, right? Monyadi uh, Hakunyalwa uh, uh, in the next week, right? Going there with her friends, going to mm-hmm. have a, an art space where they will sit around the table being taught how to paint, right? And she will be there with her mm-hmm. friends with wine and cheese, having a wonderful time at the center. And then the end product will be they had coaching on painting and they will have a sort of a painting that will be they looking forward to finish. That's just what mm-hmm. I am. And I see mm-hmm. young kids on Saturdays at the back of the center um, having classes, guitar classes. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing that. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing, I'm seeing mm-hmm. that on a Sunday mornings, 
parents before they, they go to church is dropping their kids or after dropping their kids there for a few lessons of piano. I see yeah. that happening in the next, you know, five years. And I, I'm seeing mm -hmm. at, 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 at the same time being a space where people just go and take pictures. There will be a coffee yeah. shop. You know, there will be yeah. a, a very vibrant, very colorful spaces. I'm very yeah. grateful for people like a man called Luke Jiram. Luke Jiram mm -hmm. um, is one of the amazing artists in Bristol who I see, yeah. just by me sending an email, he believed me. Mm -hmm. Just an email. Mm -hmm. I didn't had, even have had to you tell guys, him. I didn't have to. Had you met? He believed You've met me. before? No. I, oh, I know wow. his work. He's a great artist. I know his work. And mm -hmm. he, he created something called uh, Play Me, I'm Yours. The pianos. Yeah painted in different colors, splashed mm -hmm. around Melbourne and I saw these pianos and I, I went on the mm -hmm. line and I, I see this and I was like, oh my God. And I sent him an email, mm -hmm. he believed me. And the center as, as we speak now, it's painted and he, he, he curated that. And then he made sure that some of his artworks uh, sponsored the center. So that's where oh, I wow. am. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, just exactly. So, obviously like, and, and most of the stuff would would come with challenges, right? I mean, and I mean, you have goals and so on. Like, they, they, there's always challenges. What are some of the challenges that that you face, um, like when it comes to attain attaining that goal and having the center, like how you how you envision it? What are the, what are some of the challenges that that you face? This is this is very funny. I'm gonna give yeah. you the answer you gave me. Okay. If I knew, if I knew this is what I wanted and I had the best paperwork mm -hmm. to, to make sure that when this starts, it is top notch. Mm -hmm. If I knew that I was going to do this and had people who are loyal, because mm -hmm. loyalty is very important to me because yeah, I, live, I, I live overseas, hi, hi, but mm -hmm. I always come back, I always come back, but I have, to mm -hmm. I have to make sure that the team that is there see the mm -hmm. vision I have. Yeah. And if I, the team that is there sees, think about their stomach, not mm -hmm. the vision we have, then I feel like they are not translating what I wanted. Or what is the vision of, of our organization? Mm -hmm. I may be the founder of the organization, but you have to yeah. pass on the baton and say, Yeah, of course. Do it. You have to trust yeah. in people. I have to let mm -hmm. go of myself and trust in people. But at the same time, mm -hmm. if you let go and trust in people and people don't follow the vision, mm -hmm. the idea, mm -hmm. you get. Yeah. You, you get disillusioned and you're like, oh, disheartened. You are sitting there going, but that's not what we want because we have a constitution. And in that constitution, when, yeah. when I read it, every time when I read it, I'm like, this is what we are about. You know, yeah. this is our the visions. These are the goals. This is, this is what I'm trying to translate all the time. Yeah. So had I known I would have, you know what I mean, done, done it differently. And again, mm -hmm. staying out of debt. I used a lot of my money a lot and i say mm -hmm. my it's not just mine alone it's my family's mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. the reason why i felt like you gotta do it you gotta trust yeah, yourself you gotta trust right. that it's gonna it's gonna work so yeah using my money to try and mm -hmm. to try something that is for the community it's yeah. remember this is not a business for me to gain out of yeah yeah, this is the business I gain by seeing it thrive for me. Yeah, of course. Happy. It makes me happy yeah. to say, okay, this is going to happen. All right. So at the same time, I was naive. I was very naive. I was an artist full of ideas, beautiful ideas and great ideas. It's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. And I got home. Bambriga. Bambriga, mm. bambana, bambriga, big time. Bambriga at <laughs> government level. Bambriga... At, at access to information, applying for information, everything is very, very slow. And I mm -hmm. came with a speed. 
Mm. I came with a speed to London and I'm going to do this, it's going to happen. Everybody, I believed in myself. And yeah, then of course. bum break. And I realized yeah. that there's a lot of bureaucracy nonsense that I don't like. Mm. And those are the challenges, bureaucracy. Mm. You want to do something, you write it on paper, you give it some, to, to someone, you're expecting an answer. Mm. A month mm. later, to, nothing. It, it's almost like people who are supposed to do their job, you have to beg them to do their yeah. job. So yeah. that was painful. Mm. That was painful. And mm. I don't, here's one thing I can, I can tell you. I don't want to complain on the sidelines. Yeah, of course. I don't like complaining. I'd rather mm -hmm. complain while doing something. Yeah, so, of course. There are no art centers. There was no music and, and arts in schools. Da -da -da -da. Let me do something. Let me try and create something. I said to you, the government can do what it can, but government mm -hmm. can't help every single person. It can't mm -hmm. happen. So mm -hmm. while, while the government is doing what it can, let me try and do what I can in order to get um, our country forward. I said this already. So, mm -hmm. so it mm -hmm. is up to us as mm -hmm. civil society. It's up mm -hmm. to us to try and help our country go forward. Mm -hmm. um, you and I are the defenders of our country. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. walk around and people can say something horrible about a country. Your job of what you feel is like, I can't defend my country because I know where the values of our country are from. Do you know what I mean? And the values that you grew up with from your parents. So that's your job. You have a, that mm -hmm. responsibility. We can get mm -hmm. all the jobs we want overseas and all that uh, overseas nonsense. But the point is wherever you are, you are the face of it. Yeah, of you course. Wanna, you want to defend it. So yeah. there were a lot of challenges, but I'm rising above that by saying mm -hmm. it will happen. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I never. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so again, um, you, you, you know, you spoke about it. It's funny because you, you, when you speak about like, um, you came with, with so much speed and so on, like, I've always admired like your passion. Uh, like, I think physically, like you're quite animated, and that's probably where your th your th your theater background comes from again, right? Like, but your energy, dude. Like your energy, like is so like infectious. You know, like I I, how do you? And I mean, I'm sure there's times when it's like, oh, why am I doing this? Or maybe I should give up. How do you like keep going? Like when you face like some of these challenges, how do you, there's how a, do you keep going? There's a lady, she's a, she's a managing director of, of Bokamoso Art Center. She, mm -hmm. <laughs> one day I called her, I was down. Yeah. And, uh, here's one thing, I talk. Like you said, I'm very yeah. animated. I talk. Yeah. I don't show this, this, this moment sometimes where I can say something and I feel like I've hurt someone or I had someone's feelings. Mm -hmm. But there's one thing I'm glad about. I said it. Mm -hmm. I said it. I, it did process mm -hmm. first before I say it. And if I felt like I was speaking my mind, I said it. Yeah. And yeah. so I said to her, I'm a bit down. This center thing, it's not working. Yeah. This center thing, it's not working. And uh, I had thought, because remember, the building is mine. I own the building. Yeah. That center yeah. operates in the building. So I thought maybe mm -hmm. I should sell this building because it's now giving mm -hmm. me more problems. Mm -hmm. Because now I still have to maintain the building. I still have to yeah. pay for its electricity. I have to pay for it. Yeah. So, the, the organization can exist. She said, mm -hmm. no. Straight up, she said, no. You are, mm -hmm. you are so good at what you do. If you give mm -hmm. up now, then you're sending a bad message to yourself. You're sending a bad vibe to yourself and you're gonna carry it with you. It, yeah. Don't sell it. Yeah. Add it, you are good at it. You just have yeah. to rise. You are good at what mm -hmm. you're doing. And those are the mm -hmm. people like that. People who just mm. do not are, are not scared to tell me no, do mm. it, bro. 
you can do it, right? So mm. there's a lot of times where I felt like, there's the, here's one thing I do. If something doesn't work, I change, I adapt. Yeah, yeah. I'm a traditional guy. I, I still write music by using a pen and paper, mm -hmm. but the, 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 the world has changed. People would use, use auto-tune now, and I don't like mm -hmm. it. Um, <laughs> There are no. things that you like, oh, but it works in today's time. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. can adapt and change. So the center, I had to rewrite uh, uh, our vision, um, our, 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 our mission statement. I had to rewrite it many times because I was rewriting it by moving with the times. So yeah. where I was 2016 compared to where I am now, it means I have evolved and I've realized yeah. that all oh, certain things don't work. And mm -hmm. I've understood the elements, the dynamics, it's a kasi, kasi mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. It's about survival. Yeah. It's about yeah. buroto on the table. Mm -hmm. If I want people to do certain things for free, if I want people mm -hmm. to, to take their time and, and spend their time trying to figure out what I'm trying to figure out, I forgot about something, buroto. There's no bread on the table. And I want you to come here all the time and work this thing out when there's no bread. Yeah. Yeah. How does that work? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I felt mm -hmm. like people have betrayed me at some, in, in, in some instances. They didn't. They were thinking about their stomach. Brought. So they will ditch me and find ways of the way they can yeah. survive. And I yeah, should not blame them. I should not be angry at that. It's just mm. what is called change. And it's what is called survival. Batu needs to survive. Mm -hmm. One of my, one mm -hmm. of my friends at, 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 at Lion King used to say, it's seeing one for it. It's more important than, than Ugutu Zuma Wenzan. People don't care. Mm. Or na Marama Posa is doing. People don't care about that. People care mm. about the bread on the table. At the end of the day, Marama Posa is far away from them. So, there's been times in front of, and I'm a crier. You like yeah. I cry. I cry a lot. And I get <laughs> up. I, I cry. I cry then. Yeah. And, and, and once I cry about it, I get over it and say, okay, what's next? What am I going to do? Yeah. yeah. And I am lucky. I'm very lucky to have friends all over the world. So if I mm. call someone in New York, Vos, and say, Vos, and Fred, and found out Vusi is, is in the same wavelength as, as me. He lifts me up. Yeah. Or someone yeah. do in Germany. Like, uh, yeah. I like that because that gives me to breathe. Because if you're yeah. surrounded by people who are, um, who are putting your energy down, try and get out of there and find people mm. who will mm -hmm. lift you up. Babon. Because mm. get out of that space of bad energy. Babon. Yeah. I actually, I, I like I admire, and I mean, I I know I called it animated, but you know, like and now you just said that you like you 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 you'll just cry, like, <laughs> but <laughs> but I admire that also about you because it's a you know it, it takes it it takes someone quite, like quite courageous to admit that they do that, and especially now where we we're all trying to be like all tough and Watch like we, you know, we, we, yeah, we like these personas that don't, don't have feelings or don't express feelings. Um, and, and we think that there's strength in that when maybe there isn't. And, and, and yeah, I admire that about you, the ability to express like how you feel. Yeah. Um, that's beautiful.